What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. What's on the menu for today? Uh, probably five miles. It's currently like 5.30 in the morning. Sipping on some G1M. Trying to get stretched out a little bit. And uh, we're going to get off and run. So, get you a cup of coffee, something, whatever you need. And uh, let's get these miles in. So I was telling you guys, I recently ran the Oklahoma City Half, and I was going to tell you how it went, how I was feeling. So originally when I got to the starting line, my goal, everything that I had been told, don't go out too fast, um, which it's almost impossible not to, but luckily I was towards the back, so it was hard to go fast because there were so many people around me so I was constantly bobbing and weaving around people trying to get to the pace I wanted to go so that helped a lot but um after the first mile felt great ran right on pace second mile same thing third mile came up big hill big uphill heart rate jumped up pretty good and uh had to recover from that going into number four. I try to take a gel about every, about every three miles, just to stay on top of it. And uh, later on in the video, I'll tell you why that was crucial and why I didn't do a very good job of it. Um, but let's get some more miles in. Currently about half a mile into this run. Easy run, feeling good. Just going conversational pace. If you're currently trying to get into running, start it. It's the best thing ever. Best thing for my mental health, my mental clarity. You guys are awesome. saying the start line of the, of the marathon in Oklahoma City it's like super intense um, super impactful it's a run for a good cause you know we're running to remember all the lives lost and impacted from the from the act of terrorism um, back in 1995 I was actually born that year I had just been brought home from the hospital and uh, for those of you who don't know, my grandmother worked in that building that was bombed. Fortunately, she was not at work that day. I think she was helping my mom either take care of me or she was having some kind of operation done because my mom was off work or something along those lines. So fortunately enough, I was, uh, I was one of the reasons that she was not at work that day. I think that's how I think that's how the story was told. Um, either way, fortunate enough to grow up with a grandmother, and uh, I ran for her. She passed away four or five years ago, um, maybe even longer than that. But um, I ran to remember, you know, her friends and the people she worked with, and uh, it was just a very memorable, memorable and uh unbelievable experience but i will definitely be running again next year i plan to run the full marathon and uh we'll see how that goes but Mile one, 12.50 pace. Going slow and easy. Yesterday I ran sub 35K, so just give my legs a break. Um, try and stay in my zone two heart rate. 
so far successfully have done that. So that's good. It's not always easy for me. Um, but where were we on the race? I think we were at mile four. Mile four, I believe, started catching a couple downhills on four and five, six. Started to go back up. And at this point, six, usually six is like the max of my of my kind of mid-distance shorter runs in my training block. So I was really starting to feel it when I got to six. I was like, oh, I'm getting a little fatigued, a little bit tired. Um, but one thing you cannot account for in these races is the amount of adrenaline you're gonna have running with that many people. And the crowd support in Oklahoma City is awesome. Like, there was not a single part of the course that didn't have people screaming, cheering you on, which was absolutely insane. I can't say enough of how, how crazy the crowd was and how beneficial the crowd was to have because you could lean into that and uh, really, really catch that extra gear that you need to keep going. I actually saw my family at mile seven, I believe, for the first time. And I caught them off guard. It was so funny because I was like, hey! And then they're like, oh shoot, there he is. But I was actually catching a downhill when I saw them, so I was flying, so I wanted to keep going. Um, but then I get to, I, I got to, so before I got to them, I've hit the famous uh, Gorilla Hill, that's what they call it. Which actually, Gorilla Hill wasn't even that bad. Um, I expected much worse, but I'll throw in a clip because I kind of videoed it. Welcome, welcome to the winner After you get to the top of Gorilla Hill, you kind of hit some more hills, and that's the part that really sucked because I was already gassed getting to the top of that. Um, so once I got past Gorilla Hill, I took my second gel at mile seven, I believe. Um, I believe I took my caffeine gel at that point. I wish I would have taken a caffeine gel before I started, but I felt like my adrenaline gave me that extra little brush that I needed, so could have done without it but wish I would have had it uh, all right let's get back to the get back to the daily run mile two let's go all right heart rate got a little high ran up some hills so I'm gonna walk and talk a little bit um all right, back to the race, mile eight. Mile eight, uh, I'm trying to think. I think I was headed back downhill after that. Um, got to eight, nine, still feeling great. Kind of hit that runner's high at seven, nine, seven, eight, I think. Um, was feeling super good, no problems. Was hitting all the aid stations, trying to guzzle Gatorade water as much as I could, dumping water on me. Race conditions were actually really favorable. Um, I think it was like 55 degrees and it was like slightly raining the entire race. So heat was not a problem. Um, heat was never a factor. So that was good. Um, got to, I think it was mile nine. Started to feel a little tingle in my, in my quad, my right quad. And you all know what that means. You start feeling a tingle, you better fuel or you're gonna cramp. And I saw my family at mile 10. I like got super hyped up. I was like, oh yeah, we're still feeling good. Let's keep going. Right after I saw them, mile, I get to mile 11, literally 15 seconds after I pass them, I cramp up at mile 11. And uh, mile 11 to mile 13.1, I had full body cramps. And that is something you do not want to experience. And I attribute that to not eating enough before the race, not having enough carbs. Which now I take G1M, which is I think 40 grams of carbs or two scoops. That's what I use to run in the mornings now. 
and I've seen major benefit from that. I think all I ate before the race this time was an English muffin with some peanut butter, banana, and honey. And I took a gel and drank a lot of water. Um, and that still wasn't enough, so. But I ran basically max heart rate for 13 miles. And that was the issue. And as you guessed it, my pace from 11 to 13 because of my cramps were about a minute slower than every other mile. My goal was to try and run as many 11 minute to sub 11 minute miles as I could, um, which I know isn't fast, but I had only trained for maybe 10, eight to 10 weeks prior to that. And it was spotty at that. So I'd get like maybe two miles in one morning, three miles another morning. I'd maybe get a 10 mile long run, but a lot of weekends on my long runs, I missed it, but I made sure to run 13.1 in a training long run just to know I could do it. So if you are thinking of running a half marathon or a marathon, just make sure you get pretty close to that distance. That way you know your body can handle it and you know kind of how to fuel um, for the race and what you need because I underfueled, and let me tell you, those cramps hurt worse than probably almost anything I've ever felt. They were spasming after the race. It just was not, not comfortable at all. So don't be like me, fuel. Mile two in the books for this run. I'm catching my breath, getting my heart rate back down. Trying to stay under 155 crept over it a couple times um so i come back down but um back to the race mile what does it say i was at 11 and i was cramping 11 straight up classing it's basically an incline for a whole two miles and once i got to 13 that last point one straight down oklahoma city boulevard see all the banners of the people who passed away from the bombing really inspirational people are going absolutely crazy um super cool experience you see that finish line you cross it you feel probably one of the best feelings you'll ever feel in your life let's get mile three in let's go race anyways finishing the race great accomplishment immediately wanted to do the half or the full right after um, so we're gonna keep training until the full that's funny I might too I might be looking a little rough the guy just stopped and asked if I was doing this for exercise or if I was uh needing a lift back home <laughs> all right um I don't even know where I was at now, but great deal, great accomplishment. Definitely will do it again. Loved Oklahoma City Marathon. I recommend it to anybody who runs. Um, if you're a new runner, don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of the distance. Your body can handle it if you just kind of train, work your way up to it. Anybody can do this. You can do this. Just put it in your mind that you can do it. Don't worry about the miles. Focus on one mile at a time, whatever mile you're on. That's the mile you gotta, you gotta get. If you worry about, oh, I gotta run 13 miles, you're never gonna finish. <laughs> you just gotta stay in that mindset of, all right, let's do the best we can on this mile. Let's hit this time on this mile. Which really, if you're new, don't even worry about time. Focus on like, you know, effort level. 
if you can hit a good effort level, then uh, you're in good shape. Up the hill we go. Let's do this. I was never told this, but it helps, at least for me. When I'm going uphill, I try to kind of look down, not look straight at my feet or anything, but look down and ahead. Down and ahead, it kind of tricks your brain into thinking, oh, you're running on flat ground. So that definitely helps in the marathon for sure. So that's what I try to do when I'm going uphill. And that's a wrap. Went a little bit slower than I would have liked. But my heart is filled up, so maybe just because the humidity is so high. Um, but if you're a new runner, stick with it. You got this. If you have any questions, what I do, any suggestions, what you do, put it in the comments. I'll reply. I love seeing you guys' comments. Um, until next time, we'll see y'all.